Miss Rebecca back here with you for an update on our butterflies. You can see that five of our six butterflies have emerged from their chrysalises. You may have noticed the red spots in the bottom of the cage. That's meconium. It's not blood. It's just the leftover wing pigment and fluids from where the wings have developed. Our butterflies drink nectar. So you can see we have a cup in the bottom with some sugar water in it. And on our model here, you can see the proboscis. And that's how the um, butterfly drinks, uses that to go down in to the plant, into the bloom, and get the nectar. Our butterflies will reach reproductive maturity in five to seven days and can begin laying eggs at that time. They will only live about 10 to 14 days, but can lay up to 500 eggs in their lifetime. They will lay their eggs on the leaves of the plant. So we've got our plant in there so we can watch and see if we find any eggs. It's not recommended that you release lab organisms into the environment because of disease and other issues. So we're gonna let our butterflies live out their lifespan here in our habitat. The eggs that the butterfly lays will hatch in three to five days and the life cycle will begin again. Let's talk just a little bit about insects and butterflies in general. All insects have three body parts. You can see on our model here, there's the head, the thorax, which the legs are attached to, and the abdomen. All insects have six legs, so that tells us that things like spiders, millipedes, and centipedes are not insects because they have more than six legs. Insects are part of a larger group of organisms called arthropods. All arthropods have jointed legs. They have exoskeletons, or a hard skeleton on the outside of their body, and they also have bilateral symmetry, which means if you would cut them in half and flip them over on themselves, they would look the same. Kind of like if you cut an A, a capital A, if you split that in half and folded it over on itself, it lines up. And so if we were to fold our butterfly in half, it would line up perfectly. So all arthropods have bilateral symmetry as do all insects. So other examples of arthropods are those critters that we mentioned earlier, spiders, millipedes, centipedes, those types of things. We will keep you posted on our Facebook page with our butterflies and if we find any eggs. Thanks for watching.